Latina College, Miramar. I'm on in one hour and five minutes. If you want to blow up your potential, we're out here at Uni Latina College. I'm speaking with Luis Capo, President and CEO of uh, El Dorado Furniture. A couple other entrepreneurs coming through. I'm over here. Come on, man. You gotta, you gotta get yourself on a mission. Get mission minded, right? And then you'll be doing, you'll be doing all kinds of great things, man. Not just for yourself, but for your family. never been the money I've been after, it's always been the freedom, and then what it can actually do for other people is always what I've been looking for with. Say is whatever industry, whether it's flying or whether it's the restaurant business or network, 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 expand your network as much as you possibly can. Do things maybe you don't want to do, do things that are uh, maybe you're not even getting compensated for. I show up and wash an airplane for free, not because I wanted the money, but I'm getting paid and life has many commissions, money is not the only one. And uh, the commission I was looking for there is just network. And there's and, and eventually when you understand that, you'll always get paid somehow. Whether it's monetarily or not, it'll come back to you in some form or fashion. That's what I would say for that. Have you reached your maximum potential? I'm nowhere near my maximum potential <laughs> at all. I think, I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm anywhere near. In fact, I don't think anybody is. I don't think you ever reach it. As long as you're alive, I don't think you've reached it, right? So. I think you, you kind of, um, at least I'm speaking for myself and maybe for yourself if you can relate to this, you get to this point where you're like, okay, I've done this. And if I've been able to do this, what else can I do, right? So you do a little bit of something else. Okay, well, if I've done this, then what else can I do? And so I think, uh, you know, nobody really reaches their max potential. It's this target that's it's, it's forever moving. And what I would advise everybody to do is not treat yourself like a car with a governor. Let me and let me give you an example on that. Um, out front, I have a my little toy, which is a Camaro SS. Love the car to death. It has a governor on it. So if I floor the thing, which I don't do because I'm a very safe driver and I re I save my uh, my speed addiction for the air when I'm flying. The car, if you floor it, it has a governor. I mean, it'll reach about 110, and then that'll be the end of that. Not because it can't go any faster, but because it's being limited. And I think everybody has this in their head. They, you have this mental governor where it's like you, you, you feel like you, you reached, you, you peaked, but you really haven't. It's in your head. If you remove it, if I took the governor off my car, it would blow past 110 like this. And so I, I think of myself in the same way mentally. I don't want a governor on my head. And so when that happens, you know, you have to just remove that from yourself and say, okay, let me get this governor off my head because that's essentially what it is. And another thing that has really helped me quite significantly, and hopefully it does for you too, is put yourself on an IV drip of positivity. In other words, I'm literally plugged in daily, whether it's by YouTube, podcasts, uh, uh, audio programs that I listen to, books that I read, video programs, I control everything that I intake extremely. Right. You know, I would just tell you this, whatever you're trying to do, whatever you want to do in life, uh, make it make intentional efforts to do it. And what I mean by this is the following. Anything that you're going to do, anything that's worth doing, you will need to be intentional with it. And so my analogy with this is the following. You never see somebody climb a mountain without putting one foot in front of the other. And, you know, one of the things I tell everybody is, look, be, when I say be intentional, I mean, let's say tomorrow you set an alarm clock for 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. And you're like, well, what am I setting it for? You're just setting it to prove to yourself to yourself that you can do what you said you were going to set out to do. And when you wake up at seven and you figure out, well, what, now what am I going to do? Well, figure it out for the day, but you've won for the day so far. You're already on a track and on a path of winning. And when I go back to the analogy of climbing the mountain, you got to be intentional. In addition to being intentional, you need a team because you're never going to find somebody to climb a mountain without a team. And this is why I went to watch airplanes, to get a team around me of people that were like-minded and wanted to see me grow.
So be intentional with what it is you're doing and uh, live a life of intention. I'm going to get up and I'm going to go here and I'm going to do this today, right? And then after that, I'm going to intentionally listen to this audio program on the way home. And then when I get home, I'm going to intentionally do this with my wife, do this with my newborn daughter that I just had. And Karen mentioned something great, which is the, the wheel of life and maintaining balance. Anything you don't put attention on, you're going to lose. Don't put attention on your wife, you'll lose a wife. Don't put attention on your uh, any kind of relationship, whether it's spouse or whether it's family, you're going to lose it. Uh, don't put attention on your career, you're going to lose it. Don't put attention on your physique, you're going to lose it. So another thing I'm very intentional with is putting, I'm intentional with putting attention on everything that's important to me. So find what's important to you, be intentional with putting attention on it, and get a team with you to climb the mountain, ultimately so you can reach your max potential. Which, by the way, you won't get there, it'll be a forever moving target. And that's a good thing. It's a good thing.